So High Guardian Spice has been out for a little while now, and nobody's really talking about it. <laughs> and that's likely because of the fact that, I mean, you can see right here from the IMDB ratings, uh, its popularity is is terrible. It's only got a 1.3 out of 10 stars. It's a terrible show. It's a rip-off show. Steals a lot of its ideas. Turns out it might be stealing a lot more than that, and I'm going to get into that, but I'm just... I'm just confused as to why Crunchyroll even made this when the understanding was they were supposed to use the money that they were making to go and get more Japanese stuff. But instead, they decided to make this, which is absolutely baffling, makes absolutely no sense. Everyone hates it. I wonder, I'd really love to see the view, like the view count for this show. I wish they'd shared. They will never show us. If anything, they'll call it a success. I would be willing to bet only a couple hundred thousand people have watched this show. And I'd be willing to bet a fraction of that actually like it. Because I would imagine most people that are on, are on Crunchyroll are looking for Japanese anime, like true Japanese anime. This is not it. This is a CalArts soy-based NPC ripoff, anime ripoff, basically. And I mean, what did you expect? A lot of the cast, or not a lot of the cast, but a lot of the people that created this show. Remember when the trailer came out? The first trailer for High Guardian Spice was literally just a bunch of women talking about how women made the show. There was very little information on the show, uh, they were just talking about how it's an all-women creative team. That's it. I would say that this show does a terrible job at at showing what an all-women creative team can do. Because I, I would imagine somewhere out there there's a team that could put together a good show. Uh, this is not it. If anything, this fuels stereotypes. But, uh, I mean, a lot of the tweet histories of these people... Got the people have gone through them, and you know, unsurprisingly, a lot of them say stuff like, you know, take out all men, men are trash, stuff like that. And you know, you're really not too surprised, right? No one's really shocked. Like, oh my god, I can't believe that happened. No, I mean, it, it's it's a it's almost standard at this point. But this was really interesting. I saw this, had this sent to me. Apparently. They've stolen stuff from their end theme from another anime. And you could see the comparison right there of the characters doing these jumps. And it's almost incredibly similar to what this other show did. And I don't find this surprising. I bet you could find numerous things that this show has ripped off because all of these people working on the show are creatively bankrupt. So the best they can do is go steal stuff. Big shocker, huh? But just take a look at that. I mean, that's pretty clear. Now, I did watch it because this article does have links to both the songs. And the main thing that's stolen here is pretty much just these jumping scenes. So in the original Azumanga uh, ending theme, the characters are doing stuff. And then in between shots, just like in the High Guardian Spice one, they do these jumping scenes. And that's pretty much what they've stolen. I wouldn't be shocked if somebody found footage of this part where stuff was stolen. But you can clearly see it right here in these pictures. Like, here's this comparison. Look, they're doing the same thing. Look at this one right here. It's the same kind of pose. Her legs are still kind of uh, up like that, like in a knee her, her knees are up there like that. Uh, you got this one still kind of jumping with the legs apart. This one right here. I mean, it's pretty damn clear that they stole this. No one will cover it, though, because the media loves this show. Well, they try to. Here's the thing they just don't talk about. It. It's so bad. We'll just be quiet. Please still send us our mugs. Please still send us our mugs. Crunchy roll. So... I just I thought this was funny, not surprising, but funny because I mean nobody's surprised when they hear that this show's stealing stuff. 
I mean, it's a bunch of creatively bankrupt people working on a project. Are you really that shocked? So, I know, will this series get a season two? That's the question I have. Are they going to give this a season two? I think that would be funny. I'm surprised it ever even came out in the first place, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. Usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out.